handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Timonium Racetrack here on Friday. It is the 3rd of September 2021. Gonna look at the 8th race from Timonium, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The 8th from Timonium, it's lounge optional claim or purse $52,000. Race for 3 year olds and upwards, never won 2 races, a main claim starter, waiver claim race, or an optional claim price of 35000 7 horses are going to the bull ring. The distance of ground is 1,700 meters, or the distance of ground of mile 16th on the Timonium main track. 1,700 meters, a mile 16th. And it's been quite fun looking at these Timonium races, and uh, comment below if you want me to look at um, Laurel coming up in their next meeting. Now, there's some great stakes races in about a month from Laurel, so I'm going to look at that, but on a regular basis, do you want me to look at Laurel? Comment below, because I don't really look at it that often anymore. Uh, but my top selection here, I'm going to go with the number... Seven horse Singalino will go seven two four six in the Super Facta. Seven two four six Super Top Selection Seven Horse Singalino. This three year old gelding by Uncle Lino. John Worsley trains one. Charlie Marquez gets the mount. The horse's most recent out and came at Delaware. A very weird race on the nineteenth of August. Mile seventy and option fifteen. And the horse won by two legs and he was on the front and all throughout the but but because he came out in the stretch and kind of somewhat interfered with the horse um, that day, he, he was placed second in disqualification. Was it the right call? And more to be real, but um, you know, he still ran his heart out for the first three quarters of a mile or so. But coming here to a bull ring track has a lot of speed into him. I think he'll really run a good race here today. Two back here in the 5th of August of Delaware, six furlongs lounge race, 48,000, and he finished second by three and a half lengths there. He just kind of plodded along all the way around the race course, never quickened up and never weakened out of it either. I thought it was an okay effort. And then prior to that, at Delaware, six furlongs off 32, finished seventh by two and three quarter lengths. He was very wide and just couldn't keep up with those slightly faster horses there. They went quite fast to the half there uh, and then the Caserna at Pimlico who ran before that six brown lungs on the 4th of July he uh, finished fourth by nine quarter lengths it was stupidly wide and again just wasn't keeping up with those horses but with a slower pace if he could go to the front end in a mile 16th I really think he could run a good race um, you know he, he, before last time's race where he got that supposed victory his, his prior victory before that was main 25 at Delaware in July of 2020 going five and a half where he won by seven and a half lengths on the front end all throughout that was a very good victory and then actually came back to win a state bread um uh, well, a restricted race of Delaware going five and a half in the, ne in the next start, and then faced some tough horses in some stakes races last season in Maryland. But coming here today, like I said, I think he could slow it down on the front end. At three to one, I like him a lot, so let's take him. To recap my selection for the eighth from Timonium, let's take the seven horse Singalino. We'll go seven, two, four, six in the Superfecta. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.